Hi, how are you doing today? I'm well, how are you? Doing pretty good. Um, and do you just wanna introduce yourself really fast? Hi, I'm Greta Olson. Okay, sweet. And then, so for the first question, um, do you wanna describe your health goals? My health goals, well being over 50 is definitely, um, been a new challenge because um, I never have been super thin, but I never had sort of the middle that um, women over 50 get. So my health goals um, really are to continue walking and working towards um, getting some of that middle body fat off, which is challenging, um, but that's a goal. And then what dietary changes have you made in the past, if any, based on your health goals? So, well, of course I've tried some diets. So I did, um, during the pandemic, um, I walked every day and lost 40 pounds. Um, over the summer, I did try to implement keto. That was a big thing in 2020. Um, and although I can eat a keto diet, um, it did not work that well for me. So <laughs> I have switched back to the things that I normally do. Okay. Um, and then have you tried, besides keto, have you tried any other diets? Um, South Beach diet, um, okay. a long time ago, I, I tried Weight Watchers. Okay. And did those not really work for you? Um, it did preliminarily, um, you know, you have some weight loss, but it's, it's being determined to have a lifestyle with food changes in your diet. So that is, that's something everyone's got to conceptualize and then internalize. Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, so then when do you first remember feeling unhappy with your body or weight? Um, probably think um probably my junior year in high school mm. so um kind of the um you know when you're in high school we're all body imaging and shaming ourselves and yeah that's a and, big time uh, yep so in my senior year I joined a health club which in the 80s was not <sighs> what a lot of kids did um and lost I, I don't know probably like 25 30 pounds and so I was really happy with that so mm. Um, yeah, I guess that would be the first time I ever really thought, um, that my body type, I, I was pretty slim, um, as a child. So I guess I kind of gained weight, like in middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. All right. And then can you describe your current eating patter patterns? Um, you don't have to be specific, just like, do you eat regular meals or snacks or do you just kind of like graze throughout the day? Some, anything like that? I, I do eat regular meals. Um, sometimes I have snacks, um, but I try to eat. And because I'm a teacher, you know, you don't have a lot of time. It's like either before school at your lunch period or after school um, in the evening. So I try to eat just regular meals, but yeah, sometimes snacks get in there too. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And then, um, when you're eating these meals, what like goes into your decisions about the food do you eat? Do you base it off of like good and bad food? Do you base it off of like carbohydrates, protein, fats, like anything like that? Um, pretty much. I, I'm not a big, um, pasta or bread eater. I like bread, but a pasta is not a big staple for me. Um, so I really try to have, and I guess being a Midwestern and someone over 50, um, having that meat and potatoes type of thing, always mm -hmm. have a meat or protein, though I love salads too. Um, but I try to really think about, you know, having at least some vegetables in there, um, having a protein, having a meat, unfortunately, sometimes. Um, and of course, always having a dessert. That <laughs> I ah, You gotta have that. I gotta have, a, you know, we always say we have two <laughs> like one for our dinner and one for dessert. So that probably has been a big downfall for me too, is because I love sweets. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> okay. Um, so then can you describe your eating preferences? Do you enjoy eating a wide mix of foods or are you more picky? No, I like a wide mix of foods. Definitely. Okay. 
We'll try okay. new things. I have a daughter who's vegan, another daughter who's gluten-free. So we've tried lots of different types of foods. Um, some of them I enjoy and some of them I don't really care for, but I'm always willing to try something. Okay. And then um, what are some positive aspects of your current eating habits? Um, positive aspects. I guess, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be cognizant of um, what I am taking in and at my age, what I need. Um, I'm not a big milk drinker, um, but I do love cheese. And I think with women in osteoporosis, I definitely want to make sure I'm having enough calcium intake. So I'm trying to think about, you know, as I get older, what I can eat, what I can't make. Yeah. good choices. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then what are some changes, if any, that you'd like to make about the way you eat? I get rid of sugar <laughs> <laughs> about, um, oh my gosh, I think it was about seven years ago. I was a big diet. Well, before, prior to seven years ago, I was a big diet Coke drinker. Um, not so much the regular sugary, but I would drink diet Coke, diet Coke. And one Christmas I just decided to, um, you know, go cold turkey and no, no, no diet Coke. And so I, I physically, physically got sick. Um, I just had shakes and I didn't feel good and, and had talked to somebody and they said, yeah, it's coming off of that diet Coke. So um, for, I don't drink any soda, um, pretty much water. I don't really drink a lot of fruit juices. Um, I guess if I went to a breakfast and had a glass of fresh squeezed orange juice, I might do that, but I don't really drink um, juices. I try not to drink a lot of alcohol. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot of water intake. So that has been a big change for me. Um, Good. In years. Um, yeah, no iced tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. So <laughs> in the morning when I need my caffeine, where do I get it from? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> okay. And then um, so for, so for the last question, what are some barriers that get in the way of eating better, if any? I think time frame. Um, time frame, um, especially in my job, you know, when you're confined to a classroom or whatever it is, you're confined to an office cubicle, um, you don't always have the opportunity to open a drawer and eat snacks. Um, I have children in front of me or duties. Um, and then coming home too, you know, when you're... Um, it's five or six o'clock at night and you're coming home and you kind of just open the fridge and go, okay, what is there to eat? So that's what I've really tried to back away from having any pasta or anything. I'm not a big pasta eater, but if that was the only thing in the house, I'd probably cook it. So I just don't want it in the house. So trying to make good choices of having the right foods in the house um, and making good choices throughout the day too. Okay, great. Well, that is the end of the interview. Thank okay. you so much for meeting with me and answering some of my questions. You're welcome, Hannah Olson. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.